I'm really excited about this one, folks. We're looking at the plastic representation of yours truly, and I'm super excited about it. This is so flurb. First off, check out the gorgeous sculpting on my face. The only way to make it better is if it could duck. You see that underbite? I'm adorable. Articulation-wise, I'm pretty bendy. You can pose me in tons of different ways. And I'm still durable enough to handle getting played with pretty hard. Oh, this is cool. You could put my accessories in my hands and my feet. So when you're posing me up to battle sabotage or your other toys, don't let me go into battle empty-footed. My tail is bendy too. You can hang me from stuff or hold my mallet. Use your imagination. Speaking of my mallet, this is one of my favorite weapons. I can knock Sabotage on the head, and if that's not enough, one push of a button and blammo! A boxing glove flies out of the front. Not a lot of people know this, but some of our equipment is from Area 51. This six shooter, for example, was invented in the 50s. It looks like a standard pistol, but it's actually a ray gun. The batteries go where you'd expect the bullets to be. That's why it's got these fancy lenses on the tip of the barrel. Of course, sometimes a rifle is the tool you need. So I've got a standard M16 that comes complete with a banana clip. Get it? Banana clip. <laughs> As if that weren't enough, I also keep a banana cream pie on hand in case I need to play a joke or I need to cover Sabotage's eye lenses. It comes in handier than you'd think. But my favorite thing is the whoopee cushion. It's in scale to use with alternation and other six inch or bigger toys. Here, listen. Isn't that great? There it is, your favorite action figure, Albert Seven. If you manage to catch any video of you tricking your other toys with the whoopee cushion, send me a copy.